love bugs and try to come back, catch you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning selves, my grown extended family. Just thank you for taking the time out, allowing me to be a part of your journey, being able to help assist you, me sending you loving vibes and information. You turn around and do the same. And just being blessed and humbled to be able to know that I'm part of your journey is truly a blessing to me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love for you to get, you know, drop me a line wanting to know you as much as you're knowing me. Um, and even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and hit you with a positive direction. Also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family or friend or even a fellow empath they're really going through some dark times right now and have you know concerns about their life path or even like soul mission or soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. so um today the the meditation music i'm listening to is 432 hertz cleansing all chakra activate your aura and build uh build a powerful aura and heal self and i will be posting that link in the description box below in the meditation video i'm uh i mean the meditation the content of my video today is twin flame 101 hey it's finding the joy within the moment we do it, it's just like sometimes we always want to constantly know how is this going to come into our lives you know if you're heading towards something you've really been working hard for it like day and night diligently day and night day and night day and night you're you know you get the signs this is you know left and right left and right that things are happening for you things are in you know in motion for you but you know it's just like you're reading a good book or you're watching a good movie that is really intense at least cliffhangers our life is like a cliffhanger cliffhanger you're always trying to figure out what's going on and stuff like that but you know you can't when you when you stay focused on the future you know you can just take the blessings as the signs and being grateful that you can see what universe god creator source is putting in your life to let you know hey these are the certain things that are happening um you'll you'll get messages you'll get signs you'll get synchronicities and those things you have to be grateful for but you have to be able to live in it now because if you're so fixated on that future and you're just like oh i want you to hurry up and come we can't rush that process because there's so many things we're learning every day you can be able to say to yourself if you have to psych yourself out because i know it can be annoying especially if you know big things are coming for you but you don't know how they're going to come about they don't know how you're going to uplift you or how is it going to come at you um, being able to find those things out you have to be able to tell yourself okay if it didn't happen that day this gives me enough time to better myself it gives me more time to do what I need to do so I can prepare myself if they're giving you that forewarning to prepare yourself prepare yourself keep working on you keep you know doing the things you need to do to elevate yourself on so many different levels being able to you know love yourself in so many different levels being able to have that self-knowledge that everything you can soak up in that process you have to be able to enjoy your moment even though it can be stressful at times trust me i know that it can be really stressful uh, especially if you're in a situation you're just ready to part ways with i know that one too but being able to know you know things are about to change for you you'll have that sense of calmness even though you you know you have to keep it together by telling yourself i know things are going to fall in its place for me i know it's all divine timing and you have to keep yourself telling yourself that it's all in divine time and when creator source god is ready to bless you with that they're gonna you're gonna know you're not gonna miss out on it because <laughs> when they see okay they're healing okay they're knowing that they had to go through this they're they're seeing things in a different perspective they're looking at at it in a different different perception um being able to see why they had to go through this being able to see let go of the things that they need to let go of being able to surrender what they need to surrender and let go of what's no longer serving them um being able to hold yourself in a positive vibe in a in a higher frequency being able to elevate yourself towards the 5d world and not so 
you know, fixated on worldly materials. Um, being able to do that, it can become a challenge at times. <laughs> it can, especially if you're starting to see all these beautiful things going around happening for everybody but you. And like I always tell people, never be jealous of those things, even though sometimes you can be that way. I have been, but I still congratulated those people at the same time. You have to be able to congratulate people with their blessings like you're congratulating yourself because it's like that lets you know that you're not going to block your blessings because it's just like I try to tell people, especially if they get close to me, don't get jealous of the things that's going on in my life because you, you want to get mad about that and wish something on me to hope that, you know, my blessings don't come true. People just don't know with all the spiritual gifts I got going on in my life. If you do that to me, you will be messing your own self up and I've seen it happen and I try to tell people that I see it happen. All of a sudden, elements start coming. You start losing jobs. You start having broken relationships. You got more stressful vibes coming your way. You wonder why. <laughs> and, and you know, yeah, you might have been able to slow my blessings down, but you just done straight cut the cords on yours and don't even realize that's what you did. You know, that's why I always try to tell people don't wish nothing bad on nobody because it's going to come time when you know there's something you want to head towards your way and you're not going to wonder why it's taking so long and why is my blessing not coming i'm getting more negative situations than positive ones because you wouldn't try to sit up here and intervene on somebody else's blessing don't do it <laughs> live for your moments being able to grasp what universe is sending you being able to you know marinate in that moment live in the now you know don't fixate on your past because you don't live in there anymore don't sit up here and worry about the future because it hasn't got there yet, you know. And sometimes, yeah, it might seem like it's forever. But if you are so busy working on what you're wanting in your life and you let go of all the expectations you got about it. And I have to tell myself that when you let go of all expectations about things and you know you're pushing out positivity, yeah, you're going to have some crazy stuff coming at you because the devil's trying to intervene on that because he already knows what's in plan for you. He already know that, so he's trying to stop that at every means necessary. If it is not going to be, you know, throwing your weaknesses in your way, they're going to have past memories coming, going to play with your ego like crazy, have folks talking about you, have folks doubting you. All these different things come in your life. All of them. You know, I have to laugh at the situations I get sometimes. I have people doubt me. They'll send little crazy messages or crazy comments. You know, trying to insult my intelligence, all that, or, you know, I get a thumbs down, and I'm just like, you know what, I still get my views, so it don't matter. I, You know, I'm okay with having one or two thumbs down, but then I have, like, about 10 or 12, you know, uh, uh, comments as well as, you know, a whole bunch of thumbs up. And it's just like you keep going, you keep seeing yourself for what you're worth, seeing that you are more powerful than you ever imagined. Your, str your strength is just off the charts, you know, not fixated on the things that has traumatized you, being able to let those go and being able to appreciate the, the things that has happened to you because it brought you to a new you, you know, to where, you know, so I can sit up here and, and just like I tell people, especially that tries to go out their way to hurt me, I said, my family is the, the my family has done the worst thing you can possibly do to me keep me away from my family, my biological family, lie to my bi biological family about who I am, um, use me as their automatic ATM to get money from my family and them to be living off of it. There is nothing else you can possibly do to me that they haven't already done. And that's family. I'm used to somebody out on the street doing it, but family? <laughs> People that adopted you now, that's some messed up stuff. Especially if you didn't, you picked me. You could have took me right back, but you, when you found out who my family was, you prayed upon that. You used it. So it's just like when I see these things, I can appreciate everything you put me through. I can appreciate all these things because if I didn't go through the things I go through, I would have never knew my gifts. I would have never met y'all. I would have never seen how the world really works, how people really work. You know, uh, being able to heal in all those different ways. Yeah, we have de we have been dealt crappy cards, but just being able to bask in that moment to know that things are going to be okay. Yeah, I went through some, you know, some powerful or just some really dark. I've been through some really dark times, but you're on your way to shine. So you you got to keep thinking about that. When you have gone to the bottom of the barrel, you are scraping the bottom of their barrel. There is no other place to go other than up. Just like you, if you've been 
you know, pulled back into all these, you know, dark places, all this trauma, all this drama, the sadness and anger. It's like you're in a slingshot, you know, you're just, you're in that slingshot because you know, when you start feeling like things aren't changing, but they are changing. But there's times that you are so fixated on the things that has happened to you, not seeing that you're healing in all these different ways, but they just need you to allow yourself to see you're changing, you're growing, you're evolving, you're elevating, you're ascending. See it all the changes are going on around you. You're seeing things for what it's worth. Being able to know that you're above all the things that has been placed upon you. And, you know, when you start realizing that and knowing better days are coming for you, God and universe and all the holy creators about to un undo that slang shot and you just going to go flying. And then you're going to have so many blessings coming your way. It's just going to be overwhelming to you because you didn't feel like you were worthy of all these things. And there, you know, and it's a sad feeling that if you've been through so much trauma, when blessings come in, you start second guessing it. You, you need to know that you're worth all these things. You need to, you know, allow yourself to know that you deserve all these things in your life. Even though people try to halt those, they can't halt that anymore. Because it's just like, yeah, there's people are out there that, you know, that wish bad things on you and pray against you. A lot of people didn't think that could happen, but you just, <laughs> trust me. If people, you, you become a threat or competition with some people, they will pray everything to make sure you don't get through it. Because it's like a lot of times they... They can go through things and feel like they're not worthy of things. But when they see you getting things, they want to try to control that because they don't feel like, hey, I'm not getting this. So why should they get it? You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. You know, everybody has their own journey they're going to go through. And you can't try to sit up here and figure out somebody else's journey because sometimes it's not meant for them to know. You don't understand your journey. They don't understand why you were picked for these certain situations. There's a lot of people that see my situation. And I remember I saw a post about that, how many people want to play your position, but they don't see the hard times you had to get to get in that position. They don't want to go through all that. They just want to be in your position. There's a lot of people that pray about being where you're at, but they don't see all the sacrifices, the pain, the anguish, the sorrow. The trauma that you had to experience on being in the situation you are you know there's a lot of people that give me the side I don't want to believe you know who I'm related to and then you know all they see is the dollar signs you know I've told many people that but you don't see that you know even though who my dad is my dad is still human you know even though he has all these zeros behind his name his net worth is all this I see him as my dad you know I've never got a chance to really you know, it was just crazy seeing my dad in interviews all the time and actually be able to have that one-on-one -on -one with him. He wasn't like how people perceived him out in the world. I got to see the part of him that nobody else has got a chance to see. You had to be very special to him for him to be able to allow you to see that because my dad was always paranoid or he didn't allow people to get close to him in that, that level, you know, because he, he, you know, he went through a lot of traumatizing things. So being able to do that, you know, it was a hurtful situation. You know, it's not you, if you you wouldn't know how to take that if you've never been in a situation like that. So, you know, I, I, I'm just living in the moment and wait. I have to wait patiently <laughs> because the situation is God and them. When you don't learn patience, God is, you know, universe creator. And them will put you in situations where you have no choice but to wait. Uh, they will put you in certain situations. You your your faith is shaky. They will put you in situations to let you know. All these blessings are coming nothing but them, so you have to have faith in them all the time. So it's just like, you know, they will make a believer out of you. They will allow, make you have faith. You you know, if you don't believe in that, you'll never have your things. They, you know, if you believe that you're going to constantly keep going through the things you are, it's going to constantly be in that way because that's the vibes you are radiating out towards yourself and as well as the universe. So you have to be able to tell yourself on affirmations, I will get out of my situation. I will overcome whatever is being thrown at me, I will heal in all different ways. I will let go of all the traumatic situations I've been placed in. And when you keep telling yourself that and psyching yourself out to believe, because pretty soon you say it so much, you end up projecting it out to the universe. You're able to feel that in your heart and soul. When you know you got that calmness and you let go of everything else, you'll be okay. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this, this video. Allow yourself to please drop me a line and let me know how you feel about that. Are you going through these different things? 
um, send out as much love and light as you, you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing better days are coming for you. I pray for y'all every day. And my post notification shout out goes to, uh, let me see who I'm going to talk to. Uh, Energy Love Being, Sarah Horse, Horson, and Top V Trending. They have their, uh, their, their channel that you can uh, go to is the V as in Vera. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place their link in the description box below. They have really help. Uh, they have really helpful videos that they put out about, you know, the way of eating, going on plant-based diets, how to lose weight, what can prevent constipation, all these crazy things that, you know, you never thought you could be able to learn but I learned a lot off of their channel so if you're watching this top V much love to you as well but I hope that y'all have a blessed safe week on this Matic Monday and be safe and responsible with everything you do sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can I'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild